Now, what is this? Oh my god, I'm actually gonna knock my desk over. Bonjour. What the flip? Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be playing, uh, Fatum Betula. Fate Birch. It got recommended to be my commenter by a person who's actually been on this channel for like, forever. Which is why I actually chose to play it. Um, I, I don't know anything about this game. Apparently it's weird. Weird. Okay, we appear to be in a cathedral of some kind. I just got a Discord notification. I should actually turn those off before I start. I don't actually know- oh, we have an inventory. Some say the air itself has a face. It's true, a child once bore witness to its piercing eyes. Racked with grief, she traveled to the end of a narrow stone path atop a river and pleaded to the cold to show itself. The sight of nothing stole her gaze as she waited still. A horrible row of teeth soon reflected her image and she was gone. What? I am provided with the impression that something really bad is going to happen. Oh my god. Hey, I hate that. Kind of like Majora's Mask. Did you need something? Consider this tree in our land to be one and the same. A cynic doche, obviously. Both are kept between the living and the dead. This ancient water holds its roots in limbo. As such, everything here has failed to accept entropy. I've considered us to have not existed in a previous state at all. The plant is our fate, and its water our fuel. I'll provide you with the tools to make alterations. Do whatever you must, but don't feed it with what you bleed. Thanks, guy. Okay, so this is one of those types of games. Maybe now I'm allowed to leave. Maybe I should fill up all three of my vials. I have three vials of water. I feel like there are easier ways to get that. Oh, we're allowed to leave. I'm gonna de-equip this because I'm totally gonna accidentally bore it out or something. What the heck? How did that happen? I don't know how long this game is. Uh, Hopefully not like 17 hours long. We respond here on the bridge. What direction do we go? I'm gonna go out this way into the fort. Forest, what are you? You look not that scary. I don't know how long I've been here. There is constant pain in my empty stomach. Well, I mean, you could move if you wanted to. This is one of them games where nothing happens and you wander around for 20 minutes and then it says the end. Nah. The tag in the back of this shirt is really uncomfortable, so I'm just going to leave it hanging out there. We're out here in the forest in the autumn. In the autumnal fort. Riss. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's not scary at all. I'm not dead. I nearly forgot how to speak in my time here. Long ago, I was gifted immortality. At first, I was relieved. But 50 years in my new situation, I began to rot. I became hungry, and I was too weak to hunt. I can only stare at this wall. I forgot how to think. I forgot meaning. Please don't leave me here. If you do, please come back to kill me. I'll work on that, man. I'll I'll hop right on it. It said this game was scary. The the person described it to me as a Jap Japanese type horror game. I don't know why I died there. Japanese type horror game, but I have thus far seen no horror. Oh, I have received a jar. Okay. Oh wow, we fell into the jar, into the water. I mean, into the well. Oh wow, bro. Bro is puffing. Who the hell are you? You know what? It doesn't matter. Maybe you can help me. Go to Game Palestine. Stop. You are standing before my life's work. I categorize and study magical phenomenon. As such, here and there I've been cursed. One such affliction is that I cannot open wooden doors. I'm stuck. My final wish is to create something without death. Unfortunately, the skull of a previous immortal is needed. The only one I know of lives behind a wooden door. Just my luck. If you can get me that skull, we may never have to meet death. There's a patron book here. 
It reads Magical Fetishes, Volume 2, page 33. Uh, there exist tales of a glass jar that can only hold what is remembered. It captures art that is truly desired by the eye of a late beholder. Memories of the dead can take form within the jar, and it is often highly the pageants there. Is this- this is a different- This is a different chapel? No, this is the same chapel. How did I get here? This is gonna be one of them games that, like, doesn't jump scare you until right at the very freaking end, and it kills you. It's the scariest thing you've ever seen in your life. I thought I saw something. What about this side of the forest? Oh, well that looks Japanese. I can't read that, let me know if you can read that. This is peaceful. We're gonna walk on this? I guess so. That man looks dead. Oh, well, we might not be. There's a mattress. Someone lives here. Oh, what the heck? What? 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 What is your thing, man? Have you seen a painting around here? I saw it a long time ago and it won't leave my mind. I've traveled a long time to see it and yet it's gone. Such is death, I guess. This is- this is horrible. I hate this. Oh, the painting's gone. How do I leave this? Can I leave this? Is this a thing I'm allowed to leave? Leave. Leave the thing. Leave the thing. Leave the area. I don't like it there. Oh, here I am. Back in the real world. Sick. Maybe I can use the jar on the painting? I can! I have a jar with a painting in it. Maybe I can give it to that dude. He seemed to like paintings. Hey man, I know you wanted that painting. I have it for you. <gasps> oh my god. You found it. It's not quite as profound as I remember. I guess I was setting myself up for disappointment though. For an eternity, this painting has only existed in my mind. While well, it's still gorgeous and I am beyond thankful. Here, this is literally my only other possession. I, I don't- I don't know what that is. Liquid bone. Oh good. I'll fill up my my bottles with liquid bone. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Do you have anything else for me? Nope, that's all you have in your life. Cool, thanks. What happens if we try to leave the shadow dimension now? Oh god, that look- that is awful looking. I hate that- whoa... That's unpleasant. Oh my god, where even am I? This is my only escape. Oh, it sure it does. Fine, I'll go back to the real world dimension. Why do I always play these freaking terrifying awe games? Painting's still gone, and my jar's gone. I only have liquid bone. There's a note here. It reads, if you're reading this, I am dead. This tool once aided my research, and I hope it will do you the same. Be warned, I fear this blade has become weak with age and may only have a few strikes in it. I got a blade. A katana. Hey, this guy was kind of begging for death. Maybe we should go kill him. Please don't give me the bad ending. Oh. See you later. Well, we killed that dude. Let's go kill the other dude who was, like, begging for death. We'll go- we'll go take his life. Oh, buddy! I heard you were wanting to die. Oh, I tried to kill you. So I think our final option is to go try and kill the, um... The last- the guy we just met that gave us the liquid bone. Maybe we can kill him. Wake up in a new place. Kill this dude. Oh my god, you found it. Well, this guy won't die, so I guess we there's really literally nothing else we can do. Can I try combining the liquid bone with some water? Nope, can't. Well, I guess I'll just wander around some more then. Hoo -hoo. There's a tombstone over here. Is that what that is? Hey, or are you a shrine? A gravestone for a fisherman sits here. It reads, maybe we see him in our dreams. Oh, that tells you to go to sleep. I get it. That was the fisherman? Man, you've been kind of- you got screwed over, dude. Can I cut the boat free from the dock? That'd be weird. Oh, I can. The boat will sail out into the ocean. Can I go get it? Is it gonna- it's gonna stop on the shore, right? Is it stopping? 
Yeah, it's reaching the shore. Maybe I can go on a boat ride. That doesn't really tell me where I would find my immortal or whatever, but I guess it's kind of helpful. I got something. What'd I get? I got a fishing rod. Fishing minigame? But I can catch that fish. I got a fish. It's neglected to tell me what I'm going to do with the fish. I could have fed the guy. Oh no, but I killed him. Oh, but that was my only way to progress. Alternative plan. I can go, um... Give the head... I would actually rather have my katana out. I can go give the head some fish, or the, the, the immortal dude some fish. Maybe he'll like that. I can't believe I killed that dude before I gave him fish. I'm such an idiot. Hey man, can I revive you with some fish? I'm really sorry. I should not have done that. I feel like I probably soft-locked myself by doing that. I actually don't think there's another way to progress, unless this guy accepts the fish that I'm about to give him. Yeah, I actually think I might be soft-locked. Not soft lot, but you know what I mean. I mean, I don't think there's a way for me to progress. Unless this guy likes fish. Hey, man, do you want some fish? Would you like fish, sir? Fish? Uh, do you want fish, Magical Pond? Oh, wise one? Yeah, I think I- I think I've made a mistake. Here's the plan. I'm back at the fishing mini game, and I've I basically played back through the whole game. It didn't take very long. It's a pretty short game, and I've gotten fish now, and I'm gonna go give them to the cat dude. This is a very peaceful place to live. I would like to live here. Hey, cat dude, I have stuff for you. I'm just gonna pay my empty stomach. I have stuff I can give you. Thank you for the energy, I needed it. Now I should return the favor. Here, take this for your troubles. I know we produce plenty of it back home. Although I can hardly remember my home. All I seem to recall is fire. What is that? Oil. Water, oil, and liquid bone. Oil. It said I. It said it would give me the tools to do something. Can I use them on this? Oh. Not parasites. What the heck? We have solved many issues. Though nothing claims the why whims of nature. A small percent have made things far worse. No, oh, no, a parasite cannot survive without a host. That poor frog, bruh. Though the opposite is not true. The birch's roots will flow to hell. Its branches will rise to heaven. Overgrown. It will reclaim what is dead. I don't know about this one, y'all. Ending one, parasites. I'm sorry, what? Huh? I feel like we need to get one more ending, right? I'll tell you what, the scary ending... Probably involves pouring the liquid bone in, right? Hello, sir. I hear you would like some liquid bone. I actually don't hear that. Liquid bone, sir. Have some. Alright, let's see what, what kind of crazy kooky cutscene we get now. Everyone is now a skeleton. A real disappointing ending, I'm sure. No one has the eyes for art. <laughs> I'm saying, no one has the skin for touch. Okay, you're starting to scare me now. It's all really weird, honestly. At least Halloween will be fun. Ending five, Bones. We went from ending one to ending five. What? Okay, well, there was Fatum Betula. Uh, I am, am confused. I don't really know how to get the other endings, but uh, if you do, if you're a Fatum Betula scholar, Make sure to hit me up in the comments and let me know, and I'll go I'll go get them if you guys want me to. Um, I would totally be down to play this again. It's actually pretty fun. If you have any other game suggestions that are like this, make sure to leave them down in the comments again. 
and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get around to playing them pretty soon. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you for watching, and uh, Transrites, I'll see you later.